This right-hander went 3-1 and one with a 4.84 ERA and 21 strikeouts since signing with the White Sox in July of 2017. And scoring to the field tonight are his wife, Lexi, and his children, Madison, Landon, and Liam. Surrounding the mound, he's joined by his neurosurgeon, Dr. Demetrius Lopez, one of the White Sox team physicians from Rush, Dr. Kathy Weber, the medical staff from Rush University Medical Center, who provided care to him throughout his recovery, as well as his White Sox coaches, teammates, and staff. He's expected to make a full recovery and plans to pitch again in the future. Fans, please welcome back to the mound, White Sox pitcher, number 43, Danny Farquhar. You know, I prepared myself for today. The thing that caught me off guard was the whole team coming out to the mound. Um, I thought that was an incredibly special moment. Whoever's decision that was, I'm sure it was James Shields. He's an incredible leader that we have. But um, that really caught me off guard, and that was probably the most special moment of, of the night for me. I, I have gotten lots of uh, text messages and gifts from guys I've never even played with before and teams that I have no idea who's on the team. And um, it's been very special to have baseball back me as much as they have. And, um, you know, it's a thing that me and my wife talked and, you know, we'd said, we said we would do the same thing, but it's just really special to have it happen to you. Scotty back with the ball club, the celebration of life for his mother Gretchen that took place yesterday in the East Bay. Imagine the heavy heart that he's got right now and probably the rest of his career and life he's gonna have a heavy heart for his mom. Mom had a great sense of humor. She was talking only recently about her boys, the Piscotti boys, playing naked wiffle ball in the backyard growing up. That's what it takes to get you to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and now the 0-2 pitch. And Steven, a drive to left, headed for the monster, and over the monster, and gone. And Piscotti has given the A's a 3-0 lead. A tremendous shot over the green monster in left field and 3 nothing A's in the second. So his first at bat after the service for his beloved mother and he blasts a home run here at Fenway Park. Wow. Gordon has started to look like the D Gordon of last year. Gordon to right. It's deep. for Diaz after the memorial service for his friend Jose Fernandez. Bases loaded, one out. The 2-1 pitch. Diaz. High drive. Left center. It is gone. Adios. Pelota. Grand slam. The emotion of that moment for Aledni Diaz, and truly one of the most remarkable moments we've had this year at the ballpark. Incredible. Michael Lorenzen back from the bereavement list. Now, it's been kind of hush-hush as to the reason that he was away from the team, but Michael approached me before the game 
and wanted me to share this story. Earlier this week, he lost his father. His father passed away. And right now, the song that's playing is he changed his pitching song to Who Are You by The Who in honor of his dad. His dad was an absolute fanatic about the band The Who. He gets the left handed hitting Reddick here. Into right center field. Shebler closing, and Shebler will get there for the second out. To the right side, and Votto leads on to Lorenzen. He gets Gonzalez. Lorenzen with a shot to right field, carrying well. Home run, Michael Lorenzen. First pitch he sees here in the bottom of the seventh, and it is nine to one Reds. First career home run for Lorenzen. Boy, a very emotional trip around the bases for Michael Lorenzen. That ball clubbed into straightaway center field, hit a ton, and that one will fly out of here. Todd Frazier a two run home run and the hits and the runs just keep on coming back to back days and look at Teddy Teddy's excited there with Todd Frazier he's more excited than Todd is. Oh look at that nice. Teddy's a Reds fan, do you? Oh. Getting a big hug there from Tell me about the emotions when you saw him come in from the bullpen and then walk out to the mound. I mean, I don't even have words for it. It's absolutely incredible. Like watching Chad take the mound after everything he's been through, he's just persevered through so much, and I'm so proud of him. 0 2, that serve to left. Vara comes on and gets by him. And it's Yarte can really run. In fact, this could be a situation where he tries to score. They're going to send him. The throw to the plate is in time. Out at the plate. Luke Croy 
great tag. Ground ball toward the hole. DJ dives. DJ throws out at first. What a play by LeMahieu. Here's the one-two. And a strikeout. The first for Bettis tonight. Two outs in the six. Nobody on. One-two on Marquecas. And that is see you later. Strike three. <laughs> the he brushes out. Yeah, he Brushed it on the outside corner, maybe a little bit off. He got the call from Jerry Lane, a little cutter. Well, oh, this is interesting. They're going to pitch to Swanson, and it's going to work out. Charlie putting his glove out, makes the catch. First base was open. Tehran was in the on deck circle. Bennis works out of a little situation in the seven. How do you like this? Seven shutout innings from Chad in his return. That last inning, even with a runner at certain at third, Spilly. This is hilarious. Yeah, Bucks, Bucks, Bucks having fun watching him. Oh, he gave him handshakes. Chad was trying to talk himself through it. That, that, that's like a father right there. Proud of his kid. Seven beautiful.